These are today's Jeopardy highlights. From Columbia, Maryland, Sadie Goldberger. Originally from San Diego, California, Jack Weller. From Chicago, Illinois, Rowan Ward. Welcome to the second of our Jeopardy Second Chance Finals. Our finalists, Rowan, Jack, and Sadie, are competing for a $35,000 prize as winner of the week. But more importantly, they're also vying for that last coveted spot in the Tournament of Champions that begins Monday. Let me remind you, this is a two-game final, which means the scores our players accumulate today will be added to their scores from tomorrow to determine a champion. Good luck to all three of you. This is exciting. And we're off into the Jeopardy round. Here are your categories. Animal 8. The answer there is the Daily Double in the round. $3,800, Ken. All right, you'll double up if correct. Here's your clue in the animal kingdom. Males of these mammals engage in bouts called necking to establish a social hierarchy. What are giraffes? They have the necks for it. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Suddenly you have $7,600. Who is Sullivan? Annie Sullivan, right. What is Harvard? You got it. What is a Panama hat? Good. What is Wimbledon? You are correct. And you're now out of the hole. We'll get you some cash, don't worry. We're back and ready for double jeopardy. Here are the categories our contestants will be dealing with in this round. Second chapter eight. The answer there is the first of the two daily doubles in the round. 8,000. Wow, okay, you'll have 21,000 and a big, big lead if you're correct. Here's your clue. Ralph says, we've been on the mountaintop and seen water all around. What is? James and the Giant Peach. <laughs> I don't know. No, Ralph is one of the castaways in Lord of the Flies. Oh. That knocks you down to 5,000, and we've got a much closer game all of a sudden. Select again. Lakes and Rivers for two. The answer there is the other game. Ah, ah, ah. Back to back. 5,000. Wagering it all, I thought you might. Here's your clue in Lakes and Rivers. This river that flows 2,300 miles before emptying into the Caspian Sea is Europe's longest. What is the Volga? You are right, $10,000 for you. What's the Stamp Act? That's the law. What are llamas? Yes, for LL. What's the Hoover Dam? That's right. Lakes and rivers for? The oldest settlement in Paris, Ile de la Cité, is in this river. Rowan. What's the Seine? Right. What is Catcher in the Rye? That's right. What is Contractor? You got it, taking you to $4,400. But Rowan's got a big lead heading into Final Jeopardy. But remember, it's a two-game final. Things can change. For Final Jeopardy, American composers will be the category. Here's the clue. He turned to opera with the 1903 work Guest of Honor, likely inspired by Booker T. Washington's dinner at the White House. Sadie Goldberger in third place with $4,400. She wrote down as her composer, who is Joplin? And you didn't take time to write the first name. This is, this is going great. That's actually correct as well. Scott Joplin, a ragtime opera. So how much did you wager? Just 400, you have $4,800 at the moment. Jack Weller was in second place with $6,400. Did he know it was Scott Joplin? Ooh, who was Gershwin? No. So he's going to lose about half of that, leaving you with $3,400 on the day. Rowan Ward had a big lead with $30,000. First of all, did they know it was Scott Joplin? That's correct, didn't seem sure, but the response is correct. Now, how much did they wager? Not a penny, <laughs> leaving you with $30,000. That's a big lead, but big comebacks have happened in these two game total point affairs. You'll wanna be back with us for part two. We'll see you then. Jeopardy history is being made every day. Click the subscribe button below for more Jeopardy highlights so you never miss a moment.